the stock market is wild right now. The world is starting to move forward from a year of insanity. And what's going on with the housing market? Hey, I'm Kobe Smith with Call Banker Realty. In this video, I'm going to go over what's going on with the housing market. Is it a good time for buyers to buy? Is it a good time for sellers to sell? And what's going to happen in the future? Stay tuned. Let's get into it. What's up guys? So now it's time to get into it. So let's start by going over what's going on in the housing market. So in the real estate market right now, we're seeing an insane seller's market, which means that there's a greater demand for real estate than there is actual real estate out there for sale. The shortage of houses for sale results in a bunch of bidding wars in the sales transactions. So this results from two things. One huge reason why there's a shortage of houses for sale right now is because last year during the insanity, the builders were forced to stop working. This is causing an inventory setback for new developments and this is causing them not to be able to be sold because they're not built yet. So builders are starting back up now, but there are two major dilemmas that are resulting from this. One, it takes a long time for builders to actually build a house. So those houses that they're building right now won't be on the market for like probably a couple months, if not a year, maybe more. So it takes a while and they won't be ready for sale when people are looking right now. Two, there also isn't enough materials out there and builders doing the work to actually like fulfill the needs of demand. So this is also contributing to the time that it takes for those new developments to jump on the market. Another reason for this seller's market is because there's so much demand. The 24-year hiatus kind of caused renters to be at somewhat of a stalemate. But now that the hiatus is kind of coming to an end and the national eviction ban is ending, renters can now have three choices. One, they can decide to stay put. Two, they can decide to go rent out another place. Or three, they can decide to start on their home buying search. So the hiatus kind of set back a large group of renters from jumping in the market and buying, and now it's time for them to buy. Not to mention that interest rates are at a historic low and that renters aren't the only ones looking to buy homes. The other thing going on with the sales market is prices are so low. Since there's so much demand and not enough supplies and property, home prices are skyrocketing. Sellers and their agents are finding out that they can put their property on the market for a lucrative price and still get bidding wars. I mean, to be completely honest, if you could sell something for a higher price, wouldn't you too? So this brings up the question, is this a good time for buyers to buy? I would say it's a different response for everybody. I would suggest go meeting with a real estate agent and having them walk through what you'd be going through and what you need to do to find out exactly if it's a good time for you to buy property right now. In general though, there are low mortgage rates, which means you can get a loan for a low interest, which is amazing for buyers sake. Also, if you have the money to put down your down payment, your mortgage, your closing costs, or just pay all cash, then there's not many reasons for you not to buy right now. In the grand scheme of things, property values are always going up. So if you pick the right property, eventually the property value should go above the purchase price from appreciation. So what do you think? Is it a good time to buy or not? Comment below what you think. Say something like, Kobe, it's a great time for me to buy. Or say something like, oh, it's not time for me yet, but I'll look in the future. The next question that people ask, is it a good time for sellers to sell? Our response to this question is, it's a great time for sellers to sell. All you need to know is it's called a seller's market for a reason. Seller's market. Home prices are soaring, demand is up. What else do I need to say to convince you? So since you made it to this point in the video, you should go ahead and like it. I need some love. Please, I beg you, I'll wait.
Okay, sweet. Let's get back in. So now since you know all of this stuff, your next question should be, where is the market going to go? And what should it look like in the future? Some experts say that 2022 will see the house pricing surge cooling down and the supply leveling out. Some say 2023, some say 2024, and that goes so on and so forth. I'm not a fortune teller, but I believe two things. I believe it'll take three to five years for supplies, materials, and builders to actually catch up to the market. This will, in the long run, kind of even out the demand and the supply a little bit more. So mortgage rates right now are low, and they will probably remain low. But as the demand for these mortgages keeps increasing, it will cause the Fed to kind of raise interest rates because they're going to be able to so much demand and as they raise these increases and raise the interest rates then the demand will lower and kind of normalize and this will level it out with the supply the fed is already planning to increase credit rates throughout the economy when they feel like it's time i believe that all this will start happening within the next three to five years and the market will start going back to normal what is normal now so if you like this video and you find it informative, go ahead and make sure you click that subscribe button, whatever it is on your screen. Make sure you click it, yeah, yeah click it, make sure you subscribe, and you'll be up to date on all the videos I get coming out that are entertaining and informative, and hopefully you find them fun. But yeah, make sure you do that. Also, don't feel afraid to go ahead and click that like button. Show me some love, you know, I need love too. Also, don't be afraid to blow up the comment section. I love seeing what you guys have to say, what y'all think about the video, so feel free to comment below. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you find it informative, see you next time.